If you're someone who believes that a two litre, 300 brake horsepower crossover belongs as a family hatch, then you've come to the right place. This Cupra Ateca VS can do it all. Carry people, stuff things in the boot, give you all the comforts you want in a high performance car like climate control and heated seats and car play. And it can get you around the place as you'd need it to, but then it becomes wild. That's not to say that the Cupra beam counters haven't had a poke around this car. I first tested this model back in 2019. We had Brembo's behind these copper alloy wheels. Some of the seat details have been changed and that could be because this is the full leather version. From memory, the version I had was a split, but Cooper lettering was across the midsection of the seats. We now have a wider glass only screen. However, the physical buttons are gone. By the most part, the interior hasn't changed massively and the practicality remains. Roof rails and a massive boot and an armrest in the back and plenty of space and light from a glass roof. You'd want all the optional extras for the price of the car, which I will cover in just a couple of minutes. But, you know, that's enough about practicality. Yeah. Flick it into Cooper mode and you'll get affirming of things and a noisier set of exhausts you'll get some noise extra noise on lift off and just the fact that you have this golf or peach of an engine under your right foot at all times and when you lift off even at normal speeds you'll get a little blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm literally after doing the school run this morning and here I am in the Dublin mountains now a far cry from see you later have a nice day did you did you pack your lunch <laughs> I'm like okay it's time for daddy time <laughs> And that's what this car gives you, the best of everything. It will take all the shopping, the dog, the bikes. And then when you encounter a Golf or somewhere on the roads, not that you would, you can be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> now, let's get serious for a second. All this fun and games will result in about 12 liters per 100 kilometers now you, you do see 10 sometimes if you if you take it easy but who wants to do that in a, a Tekka VZ that's just just not the point but yeah you will be uh, spending a lot of time in Circle K if you drive on like that all the time it also has the added bonus of you know if people know they'll know Talking to Golf or owners, some of them who sold them because they just got fed up with all the unwanted attention, people sitting on your arse on motorways. This car is perhaps, oh God, I love, I love the lift off noises, a little bit more discreet. Now, how many drive it like that? It's not. Um, some uh, people might know what it is. Now you do have four <laughs> quad exhaust, so like it, the game's given away. But certainly from the front, people might know what it is. You can't get this car, by the way, in a 1.5 TSI. That's what it starts from. That's the entry level. Now you're still in the 50s for that. Looks so cool, though. I did point out that the Brembos boom, appear to be gone off the front discs and I do feel like it could bite a little harder when it comes to the brakes. It's the one thing that I've noticed about driving. Everything else is good fun. It's just when there's a wall coming towards you and the exhaust is doing its thing and you really want to slow down, you just want that extra bit of confidence that, it's, that they're going to do their job. If you know what I mean. What a car though. What a fun little car. 
I'm sure there's lots of you watching today who will balk at the price of a Cooper Ateca VZ, particularly this version with all the extras, although still 76 or so as a starting price is really insane. But here's the thing, the car that I was meant to get actually had to be swapped out because someone had bought it off the press fleet. So clearly people have the money and the interest in just going really fast to the shops, but also looking very stealthy and having a bit of fun and maybe just they need this kind of practical car, but they also want the extra power. Let me know though, would you spend all that money on a car like this or what would you buy with the cash instead? Thank you for coming with me this far on the video today. Thank you for your continued support on the channel and I'll talk to you on the next one.